Hi, um, my name is Debbie and I am doing this video because um, today I am going to my second appointment to look into getting strabismus surgery. As you can see, if you look at me, my right eye goes in and my left eye is looking straight. Um, when I was born, um, I had crossed eyes. So I had a surgery when I was two years old um, and that seemed to fix it um, for a little bit. I did have glasses growing up and then I turned 16 and I got contacts and um, you know, everything was fantastic. And it wasn't until I was like 19, I think, when um, I started noticing people looking at me um, and they were looking at me as if they didn't know if I was talking to them or not. I would say something to them and they would look over there thinking that I was talking to somebody over there and I wasn't. Um, so it wasn't again until I was like 19 and I've just kind of been dealing with that ever since um, I'm 40 now. I have three almost grown children, three boys. Um, and at this point in my life, um, you know, I just kind of want to look normal. I don't know what looking normal is um, for myself. I look at other people in their straight eyes and, you know, just thinking, God, I wish I looked like them. I wish I could see straight and um, it's very frustrating. Um, it can get depressing at times. And it's just, I look at other people on YouTube and I see what they're going through and it's, it's hurtful. People can be mean. Um, and <clears throat> this isn't brought up too much from the videos that I have seen, but I noticed that people with this eye condition, um, they're not treated very well. We are thought of as maybe not be, being very smart, not being intelligent. Um, you know, we are disrespected and it's really unfortunate that's how our society is. Um, we really base things on the outside appearance and it's just not supposed to be like that. Um, people tend to forget you know, the inside of somebody and I'm smart, I'm college educated, um, you know, but I still get, um, you know, people looking at me like I'm crazy or I don't know what I'm talking about. And, um, again, it's very unfortunate. And so cosmetically, that's why I want to straighten my eyes. Um, you know, I have done, some tips and tricks here and there to um, cover the fact that I have a lazy eye strabismus. Um, you know, as you can see, I part my hair on the left and sometimes I can cover it. People don't see it. Um, I do a lot of squinting. Um, I do a lot of head turns when I'm talking to people and I just, I can't look people straight in the eye. And when um, I'm not looking at somebody straightforward and straight in the eye, you know, people tend to think that you're not paying attention or your body language and your eye movements showing that you're lying to them. And um, that's not the case at all. It's an absolute embarrassment, at least to me it is. Um, and at this point, I just, you know, 40 years old, I want to have it fixed. Not only, again, cosmetically, but... Um, I also have, you know, that side vision, um, you know, when I'm driving, like I've almost literally hit somebody because I, I can't see on that side. Um, and that is scary. That is super scary. So um, I'm really excited today. I'm going to go see Dr. Lisa Riznak. She is um, an ophthalmologist with KCI Institute at Oregon Health Science University, OHSU. Um, she has come highly recommended and I have done a ton of research on her, not just her, but um, a lot of people locally in Oregon, Washington, and California. Um, and 
I live in Washington. I live in Vancouver, Washington. And um, again, Oregon, OHSU um, at the KCI Institute. And um, the research I done, have done with her, she is phenomenal. Um, she mainly works with pe pediatrics, but she also works with adult strabismus. And I'm really hoping um, th that I'm going to get that... Um, answer that I've been looking for that yes I am a candidate for strabismus surgery and um I just I just really want to it's a new beginning for me turning 40 was a major milestone in my life um and I, I I'm just I'm really on a path of self-improvement and um little things like decl from decluttering my life to, um, you know, being absolutely grateful for everything that I have. Um, and I, when I'm driving to work every morning, I'm sitting there saying how grateful I am for my children and my job and my friends and my boyfriend and my home. And although I don't have a lot, um, I, I live a try to live a simple life. So, um, this is a piece of my self improvement. Um, I just, I think I deserve it. I've been a single mother my whole entire life. Um, you know, with my boys and, um, you know, they're 21, 18 and 14. And I, have just given my life to them. I've given my life to my friends. I give my life to the clients that I work with, um, at my job. And I think it's just really time for me to start taking care of me. Um, you know, I'm always that yes, yes, yes person. And I kind of always put myself on the back burner. So at this point, um, you know, I have really great medical insurance. And the great thing about this surgery is, um, they don't look at it as cosmetic. Um, they will look at it as a medical procedure. So my insurance will cover it. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. Hallelujah. Um, and I know I'm saying I'm a lot, Jesus. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to keep doing updates on this as we go along. Um, again, today is I have my first appointment at Vancouver Eye Clinic in um, Main Street, downtown Vancouver, Washington, who referred me to the KCI Institute. And, um, you know, from here, it's doing this very strenuous three-hour appointment. They're dilating my eyes, which I'm not a big fan of, so that'll be fun um, driving back home. Um, and I'm really hoping to get a surgery scheduled today. Um, that is my goal. And, um, from research that I've done, um, you are kind of down and out for about five to seven days. So I'm planning my getaway from work, um, using vacation time. And since I'm really not going anywhere this year on vacation, I thought, you know, those hours that I am have invested um, and worked so hard to get, um, this is what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to use it for my recovery and I'm just, I'm super excited. I'm a little nervous, but it's a long time wanting. It's 20 years um, and it's, it's time. It's time for Debbie to start taking care of Debbie. So I hope that you guys, um, you know, subscribe to my channel and I hope you follow me, um, through this journey of mine. Cause I'm really excited. I hope I give somebody the courage to, um, take control of their own life. And if they have gone through what I've gone through, um, with this silly little eye disease, um, you know, maybe they'll take that step forward and, you know, maybe they'll change their life for the better. Um, we all deserve a chance to feel normal and I'm hoping that this is my chance. Um, so I'm going to lift my little camera up here because, um, it's my iPhone and so I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to show you a straight shot of me. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So 
if you can see, the right eye is absolutely going in and the left eye is straight. And if I swap my eyes, you know, it's just the opposite effect. Um, I have perfected um, when I am in pictures how I can position my eyes to look straight at the camera. Otherwise, I take pictures with this lazy eye and it looks looks a little sad. Um, so I don't like having my picture taken a lot. This is a big jump for me to actually be doing a video um, and putting myself out on camera like that. So again, super excited, nervous, um, a little scary. And um, it, not only do I want to, you know, again, feel normal, I want other people with this um, eye pathology to hopefully get the strength to take that step. Um, there is help out there. Don't let um, anybody say that there's not because there is. There is help for adults, strabismus, um, all over the country. Just Google. Um, hello, Google. Um, it's everybody's little lifesaver. So, um, yeah, I hope you subscribe and just kind of follow my journey and um, I will do an update um, to this video later on this afternoon when I come back from my appointment. Um, so, you know, just love you all and um, know that, uh, you know, this is a big step in my life and um, I hope you will join me on it. Thank you. Happy Monday. Bye.